invention, your exploration effect, and the bibliography. Introduction. Dr. Hayek to me is a scientist, inventor, and a doctor. She's one of the most leading scientists in the world. And she left her country to, to pursue her path. She is in bio, she is not, right now she is a biotechnologist. Right now, she's a nanotechnology researcher and a biotech entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is a person that starts a business and has small news stories about small business management and business opportunities. Development part one. Hayat Cindy was born and raised in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. And here is a picture of Mecca. She was a creative girl and a dreamer with a wide imagination, and she had eight siblings and two loving parents. She loved to look at the sky and think about the people who came to this world, and would ask her father questions <coughs> like, are those people like us, or are they ex an exception, or how can I be like them and make my contributions to serve humanity? And her father would reply, dear child, with science, one can achieve what they aim for and immortalize their name in the annals of history. Childhood part two. From that moment on, Hayat wanted to make a difference to people in the world like others who have. One of the happiest memories was when it was the first day of first grade where everyone was scared and, and anxious and she was full of joy. And instead of wearing her uniform, her, her full uniform, she wore the prettiest dress she owned. Now Hyatt Cindy feels that she can be one of those, she can be like those heroes who look in her dreams. Such as Razi ibn al Haytham, which is him, Ibn Sina, which is him, and and all of those are Greek physicians. Einstein, brilliant scientist. Mary Curie, who studied radioactivity. Isaac Newton, who was a phys physicist and a mathematician. And Jabir ibn Hayyan, which is him. He was an Arab polymath, and a polymath, and a, and a polymath is somebody who knows a lot about many things. Um, he was an alchemist, a chemist, astronomer and astrologer, engineer, geographer, philosopher, physicist, pharmacist, and physician, and now she can pursue their path. Education. Hayat City loved education and was a high, a high student in her school. She had high goals. When she graduated her school, she finally began medical school, where there she wanted to learn pharmacology. But the university she went to didn't have that, so she wanted to go to London to learn there. After two years, she finally convinced her parents to go, but when she was in London, her father still worried that she would ruin her family's reputation. <coughs> in London, she was weak in her language and her education background didn't qualify in any of the universities there. She promised herself that she would learn the language better and, and work 18 to 20 hours each day. And she never had a good sleep because, because she was scared that she would fail and anxious. Hayat passed all the exams and went to King's School, which is here, and got a scholarship to Cambridge. You said that her parents were worried for her to go to London because it would ruin their family's reputation. What was their reputation? Um, well, in Saudi Arabia, not much women, not much women, you know, go to get work, <coughs> get a job, and their 
family doesn't get don't get jobs for the women. So if they did that, that's not for their reputation. Isabella. Um, did she have any challenges in her childhood? obstacles that she faced in her um, work? Um, when she was learning, because she didn't know the language very well, mm -hmm. it was very hard for her to learn. And then the biotechnology was also the hardest when she learned. And what her doctor did yell at her, loser, 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 and he will never succeed, or something like that. And she was really shocked. Marco? Um, so I noticed you mentioned that her father had sort of influenced her. Yeah. But yeah. was there any other people that also influenced her to be an inventor or a doctor or that mix? Well, those, um, the people that she looked up to, such as Brazi and Hayan or Javier, Javier and Hayan, they were like really amazing people. She also looked up to them. Okay. Ufu. How old was she when she wanted to become? Um, she was a child. Rakshin. Has she died yet or is she still alive? I don't know. Does he want like Mars? No, no, but, but the point is, is it used here? Do the doctors use it here? It's supposed to be used by everyone.